Kristen McAtee's cooking show. She drinks water and she cooks super slow. You look like Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Phantom. What? I'm starving, so we're gonna cook. I'm also starving. I get, I've been getting a lot of comments, people saying, like on my cooking videos, they'll be like, oh my god, cooking with Kristen. So here it is, this is the new segment. It's not really a segment, it's a whole video. Well, that's what I mean. Also, just so everyone knows, there's people out there in that room making a lot of noise, so if you hear random screaming, that's because David's filming. What? <laughs> Sorry, <I understand. laughs> Okay, pretty much today we're making these, oh, in the fridge. It's like chicken with like poison sauce and bok choy and carrots and chicken and steamed buns. That's what I'm making today. First step, I washed all of the veg and I separated my little sauces into sauce bowls. I've been really into this lately because a lot of cool people put their sauces, ingredients in little bowls, so it's my turn to be cool. I'm cutting up these carrots to make a little slaw that goes on top of the bow. Usually you'd see it like shredded and I don't have a shredder, so. You're cutting it. Yeah, but it might be kind of weird. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I forgot to wash my hands. Oh my goodness, Kristen, you were just dropping the ball today. Look at my dog. <gasps> Wait. So since I can't shred, I'm just gonna do this. Now I'm gonna chop up the bok choy. Now that I cut up my bok choy, um, I'm gonna grab the carrots to make that cool little slaw I was talking about earlier. Cool slaw. <laughs> You're so creative. Thank you, you too. I'll just put a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar. And then a little bit of sesame oil. Ooh. And then it's just gonna sit there and like do stuff and then it's gonna be good later. <laughs> nice. What's next? Chicken. Are you sure that chicken's good? Use or freeze within five days of receipt. If we got this Friday and it's Tuesday, Wednesday. What's going on now, Kristen? I'm cutting up ginger. Why you sound so sad? Does ginger make you cry when you cut it? You no, know, you know what makes me cry? What? The fact that my house is ruled by David Dobrik. I took out the chicken and I dried it because it was little... Oh, that ginger is really spicy. Chug, 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 chug. You know like that weird chicken juice that comes in packaged chicken? Get that out because that's the negativity we don't need in this world. I'm salt and peppering the chicken. Okay, now put the chicken in there. In there. Oh no, the heat's too high. Did you post me something? Now, while that is in there, I'm gonna add some sesame oil with it because sesame oil is really good. You know what else is good other than sesame oil? Cheese. Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> okay, so now that that's cooking, I have water boiling over here with one little bay leaf. I just wanted to put it in there because I have a lot of bay leaves and I don't know how else to use them. And then I have my little steamed buns that are unsteamed and once this is boiling and once I have like most of this done, I'll put this on top like this and they will steam. Don't worry, I'm getting a new pair of chopsticks because the other ones were touching the chicken. They're steaming, I don't really know how to do this but I'm just assuming they have to just sit in here. Oh, I stabbed that one. That oh, one's no. worse. And look, the chicken's cooking, it's almost done. It smells really good and sesame -y. It looks really good. Chicken's done, but I'm willing to take the risk because I'm hungry. What the? How is it? It's like spit. Okay, so I'm gonna drain out the little liquids that happen. Okay, now I'm gonna dress the chicken and let it marinate while I cook the rest of it. So I'm gonna put the rest of my white wine with wild vinegar and then poison sauce. Looks like poop. Poison. Also, I don't mm. know what my measurements are in any of this recipe, but just like do what I do and it'll come out like this. Yeah. Uh oh, what's going on with our steam buns? Oh, good point. They're looking steamy. I feel like something should be on top of it to. Hold the steam in. Probably. Guess what's next? What? We're making the bok choy. Well, the bok choy needs to freaking hurry up because I'm starving. So, putting in the ginger, then I'm putting in the bok choy. Okay, there's that. And then some olive oil. That's wow, okay. that was a lot. And then mix this together. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of get these like a little bit sauteed so it's not so crunchy. Ooh, that looks really delicious. That's like, this is like an image that you'd have on a fast food restaurant to advertise salad. Fast food? That was like a, that was like a backhanded compliment. Okay, I think that's done. I think everything's done. <gasps> yes! So now, I don't really know how to do this, but this one looks good, so I'm gonna put some chickadee chicken in it. These are the weirdest tortillas I've ever seen. <laughs> Chicken, chicken, mm. chicken. Mm. Mix it with some hoisin bok choy. Scott's been going to singing lessons and he's really excited about it. 
I went to one. Yeah, that's singing lessons. One singing lessons. Wow, pretty as a picture. Beautiful. <laughs> All over the food. Hey, you didn't cover your mouth whatsoever. I'm gonna call these little buns, soft like a baby's butt, with salt and pepper chicken and coughed and sneezed on bok choy with marinated carrots that were shredded without a shredder. Wow. Enjoy. Mm. Is it good? What's wrong? I don't know. I haven't fully decided what's wrong yet. I think it's the bread. It's just interesting. It's not bad. Okay, Scott says it's too bland, so he's grabbing the chili paste right now. Okay, now you have your chili paste. Now what would you rate it out of 10? Eight and a half. Eight, actually. What about without the chili paste? So. Thanks, chili paste. I just love spiciness on food like this. Mmm. How was it? How is it? What's going on That's in your mind? So good. You are a hater. What do you rate it? Out of 10. 8.7. All right, listen up. Everybody, I know you guys are filming a diary, but if you want to try a taco, Kristen made some tacos. Wow. What kind of channel is this? Can is that chicken gizzards? Can I have extra whatever you want to make? How come, Kristen, because you're the chef. How come you're not giving me a big piece of chicken? Because it's hard for the bun. That's okay, I'll have it right on top. Just take the first bite and then you can add what you want. Wait, why are you wrapping it in hamburger buns? They're not hamburger buns. Uncultured swine. Can't even see his reaction because his hat's covering his face. How is it? Honestly, need another piece of chicken. A big one. It's not bad. But. <laughs> the sauce. The but. sauce. Let me see. Right, this is where I'm going to determine whether this is or not. Person made me one. Okay. <laughs> now, what would you rate it out of 10? 10 okay. being wing stuff. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That's 70 out of 100. I've been practicing math. Okay. <laughs> That was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna go with seven. Seven too? Seven, it's, it's bomb, it's good stuff. Oh. Although it can be an eight, if, if I can get a second one. <laughs> That's an eight. Eight? <gasps> yeah. Wow. This is so cool! Thanks, Mom! <laughs> this is gonna give me so much energy for soccer practice. <laughs> All right, the only okay. taste test that matters, the dad. Okay, Kristen, what exactly, is this a bow? This is a bow, and be honest, seriously. Excellent. What would you rate it out of 10? 10 being your favorite meal. Give it a nine. Nine! You're the high, oh my god, you rated it higher than I did. I rated it at 8.7. Oh, hell yes. This is called bow. Oh, that's really good. It's good? Right. Chicken's very oh, tasty wow. here. Yay, good. Really good. What would you rate it out of 10? Well, I'll give it a solid 10. <laughs> solid 10! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Is there stuff on my feet? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my cool little recipe. I really like it when you guys make it and then you tag me on Twitter. And you make the, like when I did chicken muffins, a lot of you guys made them and you said it was really good. So these are a little harder, but if you can make them, do it and tag me in it. And don't give it to anybody who has taste buds like Scott, because then they won't like it. I liked it, Kristen. Don't tell them that I did it. I will see you next Thursday. Hello! Young Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen.